Welcome back. I'm just gonna cash in all my points. Ho ho. I've now got all of them for that, and I'm gonna have that for you. Eventually. Uh, where was I fucking going with this? I'm trying to get down here, aren't I? But I worry that I'm missing out on far too many opportunities. You're ready to go. Once you get to go, world. More great swords. This is potentially a waste. Fortunately, I have the item that increases the amount of LP you can get if you're really careful. But none of that is the point. Um, I went round... I went round the Ogirienza. Uh, could not find the tortoise I was looking for. Can you not zoom out farther than this? <laughs> this is a very big map and I need to zoom out more, but I've... I've got this terrible feeling that I was supposed to just keep going into the Nam, like it was in pretty much literally the next room I'd have walked into. And now I'm all the way down here. This, um... I've been having a think. This is a very, like, big, sprawling section of map. As you can clearly see, because I can't fit the whole bloody thing on the page, even. We just get handed the map right off the bat in this version. And I don't... I think you had to go a little further out of your way to find it originally. And... I've just, I've kind of been thinking, like, with it being, the, like, we even get this one up front, with it being a thing that you just sort of immediately get, what is the point of having it be all, like, big and sprawling? Like, this feels like it was designed for a situation where you would not necessarily immediately know the layout of the area, and you're supposed to find your way around a little bit. Like, cause I've obviously... played the game a bunch before. And I, you know, I own a guide which I use whenever I play this game. So... It, like, at the time hadn't even dawned on me to think about that as, like, a thing that would have been a deliberate design decision. For you to have to figure out where you were going. With without necessarily having a map right away. And... I, I don't know how I feel about the fact they got rid of that aspect for this release. But I, I don't know... Well, I mean, like, the answer ultimately is that I personally would just be using the walkthrough anyway. Like, the, the physical walkthrough that I own. And, you know, if, you, if you're already familiar with the game... It, it's kind of only an experience you can have the first time you play it, so it, it's sort of a moot point for me at this stage. But ju just to have it, like... To purposefully remove the idea of that experience from the game at all feel... I, like, I don't know how I feel about that. It, it's almost like, well, what... what why... <laughs> what was the point, then? Here's a big... It's a big spiky bird. So I was sort of wrapped up in my thoughts too much, and then there were two big spiky birds in front of me when I woke up. I am... quite hurt. I'm quite hurt and I'm quite slow. Please let me fucking go. Cure yourself. You're silent because of a gun, presumably. Swap. Swap the lad. Oh, I think I've had this for a while. You've been here for a while, shooting at your friend. And I've- Oh, and you've been here! Yes! Wiggling. Wiggling Snoofus. For completing a 50 chain. There you go. We complete chains. Do we have anything fun in here? I just keep forgetting to check at all. We've got, we've got you. Angie. Oh my 
Yagtu. Just a bit of information about the Ogurians there. I tended not to ever read the stuff about, like, the world-building stuff. I was always a lot more interested in the, like, in-universe, like, I've written a little sort of in-universe journal about the benefits of this one item. Like, there was always just, like, more flavour to those. So any anything with a sort of orange-yellow subtitle, I just skipped immediately. Remember me? I'm your friend from the bank. Big fish. Big fish. We need to... We need to focus on getting scales from this big fish. Because it's going to come into play later. You're not even from here. You're not even from around here. I'm a baggly. All years of use in combat ruined its wings and now it's scrunched. Oh. Just be, it's been manufactured and abandoned like pigeons. I learned that I learned recently that pigeons were like bred as to be pets, and they're little sweethearts. And then just people just got bored of them, and just fucking released them into the world. So now the world is covered in pigeons. As a trick to getting your frog oil. When it reaches the horns, the oil is secret. Uh -huh. You're gonna cut the horns off for the moment you get the oil. And here I am. We've already looked at you, what do you say, the slime oil? Natural philosophers? Ah. We've, got, we've found all sorts of uses for an oil we get from a weird boy. We never looked at you. Just a big tortoise. For you. Look at me. You can sort of see where its face should go. But it couldn't be bothered to have one. The individual went scrouched. But that's fine. That's fine. We got you. You're here. You're here scrambling round. Oh yeah, why do you... Your polygonal form... <laughs> looks... It doesn't look quite right to my eyes. It look, it looks... You, you, we've had to really bump up the quality of you and it looks slightly uncannel. An uncannel? <laughs> he crawled out of the uncanal, where everything's weird. Oh, we've got, we've got like so many letters. So many letters about a mysterious thing. Oh dear. Uh, just blah blah blah. That's fine. <laughs> Not you can you can look it up in your own time if you really want. I'm supposed to be doing something. Um, I think. I think I'd like to tell you about. Blarpo the Magnificent. Who's my favourite friend? I may as well take a route that allows me to sort of scan as much of the map as possible. I may as well scan your barcode and see if it gives me any new rights and privileges. I don't like being slapped by birds. I want to remove this from the list of acceptable hobbies! No! You're not allowed to slap me anymore. New legislation. That stuff. My god, you must have stolen this from the Bent Shepherd. Have you no shame? In the darkness, I poke you. You're like... You're just poking people with a stick. You don't even have sorcery for these boys. You turned purple and I thought I was in trouble. Just then. Purple purple people cause trouble for little Pinello running around the sand dunes. I'm glad there's a chicken or two. Alright, these chickens need to be made wet. 
A colourful chicken, to be sure, but not one that I can't defeat. Did you think being all sparkly made you more powerful against my... These are just ordinary barrels, what the fuck? I thought there was going to be treasure in some of these. You've lied to me. You've lied to me, by which I mean you've made a barrel. <laughs> Here's another big lad. Here's another big lad. Aren't we all quite glad that there's another big lad? There's even big, more big lads even further still. Oh, please cause a wet problem or two for this little shit. Can we get... Ash knows Aqua, doesn't she? Please hurt the other chicken while I fight these. Um, could you please finish the chicken business? I've, I've not thought about the fact that it might not die immediately. Well, I finished the chicken business. Well, god damn it. I was trying to save you MP. I was a fool trying to keep track of all these systems. Well, with all these automatic bonkings going on. I've been watching, um, some gameplay of Final Fantasy XIII recently. J just thinking about the systems of this game, because I didn't really know anything about Final Fantasy XIII for the longest time, apart from everyone apparently hated it. But look, looking at it, I can sort of see the ways in which it evolved from the systems this game has, and sort of simplified certain aspects of it, which I don't necessarily know that simplified's even the right word. I don't think this is... I would not call this system complicated, per se. It's just weirdly presented. Like, all the commands you can perform are the same as they've been in, like... It's gonna take me into the caverns. But like, it's it's all the same actions from the other Final Fantasy games. So I, I don't know that it's a matter of complication. I think just the, the presentation renders it strange. And that's, you um, I disagree with the assessment that you're only level 17. You seem to be quite powerful for a frog in this area. Please, oh, Gungus, preserve me! Gungus did not ultimately preserve me. I think is the problem there. D can you please, um... Actually, I'm probably... I'm probably doing the least damage. Let's just resurrect... Narvis. I'm gonna defeat you. But it's not gonna have been worth doing. Skin of frog oil, we got the froil. We got the oil that we like to boil. All right, with with the, no. You're you're fine potentially. Oh yeah, while off screen. Oh, I don't think you're fine anymore. <laughs> These are very powerful level 17 slimes. They're not normal. They're not normal ones like the ones we have. Uh, things things of note that happened off screen. I found um, a technique, I believe, called sight unseeing. I don't know if anyone can use it, but it's an attack usable exclusively by a blinded character. So even if you're blinded and you don't have the necessary unblinding materials, you can still hit them with this lovely attack, which I think is quite good. I think it's quite good. But I'll shoot you in the bum! That did shit all. What's the what's the point of having you out? You you don't I mean I guess you're silencing people. Well, I mean you have a chance to silence people. I thought these fucking things cut through the defense stat. Are these like exclusively effective against flying enemies? Have I made a terrible decision having you be out here? I guess I don't need you to be out here. I guess I don't have to turn to stone. Oh, the fish! The fish, you know what, actually? Uh, steal from a fish. Ah. 
hadn't thought about that, necessarily. I've, I've run towards you as if I'm not arranged. Are you... have you already... is it too late? I must... I must tackle the fish alone for right now. Um... Expose him as the sham that he is. There we go, that's what we want. Right, now we can more or less do what, whatever we feel like. Because I've already got... But hey! Lovely stuff. Vaughn's coming back out. If, if the gun's not going to do anything, then I'm just going to hit people. Ah. I was kind of hoping that you'd be, like, powerful enough to take that in one hit, maybe save Pinello some MP. In fact, you're just an ordinary fish who I don't need to worry about. She's so fast as well. She, she, she's the, I think I've literally bought, like, things on the license board that reduce casting time. It's all just working against me a little bit. Does anyone have... Oh yeah, you're, you're wearing a bangle, aren't you? Silly me. One thing I will say, uh, re sort of returning to the thought I had forever ago about Final Fantasy XIII's sort of systems. Uh, although I don't even know that I can remember what I wanted to say. Like, I specifically observed something and set aside in my mind that I wanted to bring it up on this. But I don't... I don't even quite recall what it was like. There was a specific... way in which it was sort of streamlined, the whole process, that I kind of appreciated. I'll tell you what it was. You can, like... So, as opposed to the Gambit system in this, where you sort of, like, individually... tell each character, you can set it up so, like, if this is true, then do this. What Final Fantasy XIII has is, like, set behaviour modes. Like, I think one of them's called Commando... Like, uh, Ravager, which is, like, largely spell-based for if you want a magic caster. There's Medic, obviously. And... Like, they'll, they'll just sort of automatically do the most effective thing they could do in while serving that role without you having to explicitly, like, program in 500 different things for them to do in any given situation. So, I, I kind of appreciate, I, I kind of get the impression based on that that maybe the Gambit system was not the most well received, maybe it, that got some criticism and so they took that on board and kind of made it a little easier to wrap one's head around. So, I can kind of, I'm honestly, I mean, I've, I've not, I don't know how the game feels to play. But just looking at Final Fantasy XIII, I really don't know that it would be my cup of tea in general. Just because of how, it, like, the, how it's laid out and the presentation of it. Like, I feel like if I was going to be there for anything, it would be the story, and I can get that just by watching the playthrough, you know? But at the same time, I do see things in it that I can I can kind of appreciate. There is thought that's gone into it. And, you know, it's... Particularly if you're familiar with the previous game in the series, it, it's very much... visible. It's visible what they've done there. I don't think it's a fair criticism that Lightning has no personality. I don't think that's true. I think she's just an incredibly shitty person. <laughs> oh, here we go. The big lad. The big lad wants to get you. I mean, they recommend... sort of this kind of setup. Not that, not that I'm not just going to immediately use my big mist attacks anyway. But I've got to hurt the tortoise. I may as well hurt, hurt the tortoise legitimately for a little bit. Don't make 
the people around you cold. This this tortoise knows a lot of sorcery, doesn't it? We're actually kind of deleting this guy. We're deleting this big shiny boy. I was told you'd start doing area of effect attacks. You don't seem to be too bothered. You don't seem to care a huge amount about... Can you... Would you like to poach him? Is it possible to do? He's immune. I thought he would be. You, um... Your defense seems to skyrocket when you become critically injured. I feel like I remember that about you. But we'll get you nonetheless. Here we go. Here's what you were warning me about. Dead tortoise syndrome. He's flopped over. Yeah, let's see where we were. Yeah, we were like two rooms away from where we bloody started. I could have just said hello. Does a fish want to pop up? Does a fish want to live? Live like a fish for only five ninety nine. No? No takers. You're just sort of in the middle of the road. I half, ex I half expected you to be a mimic. But we've, we've, we've seen the mimics and they can't... They don't... I think it'd be so fun... That treasure chest. The kinds of treasure chests you get in this area. I reckon you could make a really fun crab-like mimic out of those. We've seen the we've seen the ones in the mines that can turn into spiders at will. All right, you've you've missed an opportunity for a crab tonight, and I'm gonna yell and yell at you. Anything in the nook? More barrels? More useless barrels? You don't even contain coconuts for me. I think if you should do anything, it should be contain coconuts. That should be. That should be your promise to society. I will have some coconut variety. I will live... I, I can't think of another rhyme, but I will live regardless. Not being able to rhyme something is a poor reason to die. You don't go to a, a doctor and say, Oh, how did the patient die? And they're like, he, he fucked up. He, he said orange. And then that was the end. There was He was locked in. His fate was sealed from that moment. Can you burn Libra? You can't do Libra. You can't do a big Libra about us. I'm having to manually override your tendency to spit arrows at people. It's just if I make every decision manually... There's a lot of... Actually, you know, this will hit two of them. It won't strictly be a waste. It's just a lot of, like, having to go into menus and reiterate instructions, which is just a little bit time-consuming, particularly when you're trying to do a video. I suppose that's another thing I do sort of appreciate about 13's active time battle system, is it? it's, like... I don't know how I feel about active time. I, I'm more just sort of intimidated by the the concept of it in general. I, I mean, I suppose this is playing out in active time, but I can, like... If I press this, everything pauses and I can stop and think about my next move. You know, so there is that. Although, for some reason, you can turn that off. But... I don't know. I feel, I feel like I'd be fine with it in reality. But in concept, it sort of scares me off. It scares me off like a big potato with a scary face drawn on it. Hello. No, don't attack things. Speak. I defeated them. He went by. Went to the Elgirdienza, did he? Well, I guess we'll we'll go and follow that up then. Follow that up with a tortoise tonight and learn all the things and then take a great fright and then we will be as one. Oh dear. That's not great. Like they say in the film, that's not great. Don't throw two fish out the sand at me. I'm very easily scared by such things. Oh, oh, oh hang on. It's... Scrufflin. Scrufflin through the sandstorm, looking for me friend. 
saying hello. I found yes. Time to scrumble away. Time to scrumble away with my lovely little gift. This will... This will purportedly benefit us tremendously. What we are, what we are about to receive. So let us, let us gratefully receive it with our grateful little nose. We put a basket on our nose and receive the presents thusly. Oh, hello. It's the High Court of the of the fish fence. We've fenced you in with every fish we could think of. We could only think of two. I'm here, standing around. I don't have to wear anything. Because I'm I'm important. I guess. You seem to be important. You're in the you're in the important place. A truly rare occurrence. You, you, you're juddering in a way that you... I don't quite know how to stand! Kupopo indeed. What is happening? Oh dear. Execute the guy. You have... Ugh. Nope. You must listen to a snoofus instead. You must instead listen to my snoofy ways. Oh. You've shamed us by defeating a tortoise this evening. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. I <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. I can just sort of do this. Anyway, I didn't go and fight the tortoise at all. I can instantly incinerate things, but, you know, that didn't seem useful. <laughs> Bring back this dead man this instant. Cast Revive. They must pay the funny price. Let you go away. <laughs> Scrumbling off! A scrumbulent congregation. Little plant. What do you have to say about the little plant? Stop trying to attack everything. Yes. You wouldn't have been at it. Oh, sniffle. Sniffly snookus. The plant. A delicious flower for us. Let's see what we got. Pick the berries. Eskier berries. That's what we like. Oh, we can we can restock from that apparently. There's a particularly dangerous avian known as the Garuda. It's quite unfond of the flowers. Yeah. So that's a that's a hint for what what we can do at some point with the fruit we've just obtained. But um. That's a matter for another time. Thank you for joining me, and I'll join you again later for a different reason. Goodbye. <laughs>